I've made over $170,000 my first year as a truck dispatcher. Here's my tax return to prove it. And in the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna show you everything I did to get there without a CDL or an MCDOT authority. I'm being dead serious. I'm gonna expose my entire dispatch funnel in this video and show you how much money you can make as a truck dispatcher, how I find carriers, and most importantly, how I book high paying loads. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll even give you access to my free dispatching course where I show you how to start your own dispatching business from scratch. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's stop wasting time and talk about what a truck dispatcher actually does. Currently, there's only three ways that carriers can find loads. The most profitable being the direct shipper method. This is where carriers and owner operators work with a shipper to run a specific lane and consistently move that load for them week in, week out. So if a shipper is paying $1,000 for a lane, the carrier will get the full $1,000. Pretty simple. But this is where carriers run into their first big problem. These direct shipper loads are very, very hard to secure especially if you have a trucking company with less than 20 trucks. And unfortunately, 95% of trucking companies are not even halfway there. These smaller carriers are then forced to find their loads through the traditional method, where they lose thousands of dollars and eventually go bankrupt. In this method, the carrier has to book their load through a middleman called the broker. So the same load that was paying $1,000, the broker will now hand that load off to a carrier for $700 and pocket the $300 for themselves. Pretty shitty, I know. Now, at this point, carriers are basically sitting on a ticking time bomb, okay? They're going to keep booking cheap loads because they don't know any better, and sooner or later, one unexpected expense will end up tanking their entire company. I've seen it happen many, many times, and it's going to keep happening unless they use the third method which is where the truck dispatcher comes in. In the margin flow method, the carrier contracts a truck dispatcher to handle all the dirty work. Okay, so this includes finding lanes with tight capacity, uh, negotiating rates with brokers, and even handling all the back office work. So in the real world, what this looks like is, instead of booking a load from Chicago to Kansas City for $1,000, the dispatcher would use tools to find hot markets like Chicago to Omaha, for 1250. It's roughly the same miles, but for a lot more money. And because the dispatcher knows how to negotiate, they can get the brokers to give them loads with only a 20% markup instead of the normal 30%. At the end of the day, even after paying the dispatching fees, the carrier will end up making 30% more in gross profit for every load that they run. That's a massive, massive difference. Now, here's the truth, okay? Dispatchers aren't just doing this out of the kindness of their heart. They do it because they make a ton of money. Let me just be completely transparent and use myself as an example. So on average for just one truck, we can make roughly $25,000 per month. Okay. So all that money, the $25,000 would go straight to the carrier, but we're going to charge roughly 10% for the service that we provide. With that 10%, we as a dispatcher, would end up making $2,500 per month in gross profit. Again, that's just with one truck. Now, I don't wanna work with just one truck. You know, I as a solo dispatcher, I know that I can handle 10 to 13 trucks before I have to hire another dispatcher. That means I can make upwards of $32,500 per month from just my laptop and a phone. And that's exactly what I did. But for 99% of you dispatchers watching, this won't be possible because you're going to get stuck at step number one of the dispatch funnel, which is building a carrier acquisition system. In other words, how are you going to get eyeballs on your business? Okay. How do you find carriers and put your offer in front of them? Now there's really only six ways you can grow your dispatching company and I've tried them all. Okay. So I've done cold calling. I've run paid ads. I've built an email list of 20,000 trucking companies for my owned media. Um, I've built a 100,000 subscriber channel for my earned media. I've received referrals. I've worked with affiliates. I've done all six forms of traffic. And here's the thing, all of them work, okay? But the one that worked best for me when I was just getting started was cold calling. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, oh, cold calling doesn't work. You know, I would never buy from someone that's just cold calling me. You're right. Most people don't buy, but guess what? I know that if I make 700 calls, one of those people will buy. I don't need to sell to everyone. I only need to sell to one person to start making $2,500 per month. And guess how long it takes me to make 700 calls? Literally one week. Now I know cold calling sounds scary and you guys probably haven't done that before, but it would be really, really easy for you 
if you just had my cold calling script. This right here is the exact script that I used to grow my dispatching company to nine trucks within one year just through cold calling. By the way, guys, I'm giving this script away for free. So if you want to download it, just join my school community. The link will be in the description. And when you join, you will also get free access to my full five week dispatching course. Again, the course is completely free for now. You know, I can't promise it'll be free forever. So watch this video first before you join, because if you skip this next step, you'll never be able to turn that traffic that you're getting into paying clients. Now, let's say, for example, I make a bunch of cold calls using my script and Mr. Joe Blow from Joe Blow Trucking, he hears my offer and is interested in talking to me about it some more. OK, so what step is he supposed to take next? How do I actually convince Joe to start using my services and become a client? I've seen so many dispatchers fall into the same trap by ignoring step number two, which is setting up a lead capture system. When I cold call Joe Blow, or if he watches a YouTube video of mine, or if he sees an ad of mine on Facebook, he's not going to pull out his card and sign the dispatch contract immediately. OK, we need to bring him in into our sales funnel and nurture this lead. OK, we have to collect his name and email from our opt in page and then we'll send them to our VSL page where we explain what we do, uh, who we worked with and what type of results we get. Then we get them to schedule a call with us and have them go through like a pre qualification questionnaire, make sure that we can actually work with them. And then we close the sale. This entire process, it's going to take a few days. OK, it's not going to happen immediately which is why it's so important to set up a lead capture system that can automate all of this. Now, this might sound really complicated, especially if you try to do it all yourself, but this is where you can use the power of AI. This single tool that I'm about to share with you guys is the only reason that my truck dispatching company has been so successful. And if you used it for your business, you know, there's no reason that you wouldn't succeed. Now, I've never told anyone this, but the software that I built and have been using for my business is called truck.ai. I use this software to build my entire website and funnel, to create email and text automations, to store all of my leads contact information, to handle all of my conversations and much, much more. As soon as someone gives me their name and email on my opt in page that I built on truck.ai, this software is going to send them an email automatically asking them to take the next step and book a call with me. OK, so I never have to look at my emails or respond to clients. I spend all of my time just getting traffic to my website and jumping on sales calls to close deals. That's it. All this extra stuff in between. OK, that's not making me any money. All that is being automated and handled by my software. Again, if you want to learn how to use this tool for your dispatching company, you can go through my free dispatching course and it's in week two, I believe. Now, speaking of closing deals, this brings me to step number three and probably the hardest step to get right, which is actually making the sale. So far, you've figured out how to get a bunch of people interested in your service, where to send them to get them excited. And now you need to do the hard part and actually close the sale. I really, really struggled with this step in the beginning. I'll be completely honest, you know, but I just recently figured out what I was doing wrong and it's not what you think. Let's take a look. So. As you can see right here, here's my entire sales call script. You know, I start off with some small talk, ask them where they're calling from. Are they into any local sports teams? Uh, do they have any fun plans coming up? Just basic friendly questions that will make this entire interaction feel less like a interrogation or an interview. I don't want the carrier's guard to be up when we start getting into the sales call. OK, I want the carrier to feel like he's just talking to a friend. Now, after I do some small talk, that's where I set the agenda. OK, so I want to control how this conversation goes, how it flows. I don't want the carrier asking me right away. Hey, what's the price? OK, I'll share the price but at the end of the presentation so the carrier can understand the value that they're getting. Again, very, very important that you control the conversation by setting the agenda. Now, after that portion, after the agenda, that's where the fun part comes in. This secret framework right here is the one that I use to close 60% of leads that jump on a call with me. And it all comes down to the closer framework. This is a strategy that I've adapted from Alex Ramosi and applied it to my dispatching company. So all credit goes to him. But as you can see, there's a whole process of questions that we go through. And each question that I ask is designed to make the carrier think about what their biggest problems are in trucking, what they've tried in the past to resolve it and why those things failed. The whole point of this sales call is just to get the carrier to see that 
they have come to us with a problem and we have the solution for them ready to go. Now at this point, I also have like a little pitch deck that I go through to show the carrier visually the results that I brought for other carriers and how our system works. But at this point, it's pretty much a walk in the park for me. Even if the carrier has any objections, I have a whole separate script that I can use to overcome every single objection that is thrown at me. Again, guys, if a carrier jumps on a call with me, there's a 60% chance they will end up paying me a deposit and signing a contract by the end of that call. And you're getting all these tools and templates for free inside of my community. So now that you have your first client, you actually need to make some money and you'll do that by following the final step of the dispatch funnel and booking high paying loads. This right here is the bread and butter of every successful dispatcher. Without this, you don't have a dispatching business, okay? You're gonna get a lot of traffic, you'll nurture a ton of leads, you'll close a lot of deals, but after you put in all that hard work, everyone is going to end up leaving within a month, guaranteed. To avoid this, you'll have to become a master at using load boards like DAT, which is exactly what I show you how to do in this video right here. I will walk you through step-by-step step how to use a load board like DAT and how I find gold mine lanes using a secret tool that most dispatchers don't even know about. So go watch this video right now. Otherwise, all this information that you just learned will be completely useless. Anyways, I'll see you guys in that video.